Right, for this cravat, sorry, ascot. For this ascot, for those of us who doesn't sew straight, what I suggest you do is with your tailor's chalk, just draw a line on your fabric so that you can get a nice sharp finish. So we get a nice sharp finish. On my main fabric, I'm using a stretchy fabric uh, for the one that I showed you that I'm cutting out. And on that stretchy fabric, on any stretchy fabric, it's advisable to sew it to sew it on the from the interlining because it stretches out while you sew. Let's just measure that. That's, right. So that's a little little tip. Right, so I'm going to move this away to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew all the way around but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little bit open. I'm going to sew from here, go all the way round, all the way round and I'm going to stop and I'm going to leave a little gap in between so that I can bag the whole thing out. So um, I'm going to pin this down to try and prevent it from stretching but this fabric that I'm using is not a stretchy fabric so I should be okay. But right so I've sewn all the way around, done all the way around and now I'm going to knit the corners, I'm just going to knit the corners and cut off excess fabric. Knit the corners And just tidy it up all the way around. Just the corners, nip it. And then there's the interlining. So this is a reversible ascot. And I've left a hole, just a little hole. You choose where to leave it. And then I'm going to bag the whole thing through it turn it inside out. Now I wouldn't be surprised if you're at the shop and this is going to cost you around 20 odd pound to buy one of these, 15 to 20 odd pound, depending on the fabric for your occasion. And normally these things are worn at um, weddings. So you can, like, like me, I've been making the bridesmaid dresses. So um, when you make the bridesmaid dresses, I always like to do the men's tie in the same fabric as what the bridesmaids are wearing. It really has a lovely, beautiful effect. So there we go. We've turned this inside out and you can see it, takes, it doesn't take long to just stitch round and round and round and round in circle to give you a crevette. I keep calling them crevettes because that's the name I know of them to be. Unless I've got the wrong thing, but it's called Ascots, so I do apologise. As you can see so far, um, on this occasion I'll leave it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm finding the centre. There's the centre. So I've marked it. And then what I'm doing... Because we're going to stitch on top, I folded it again, say two and a half inches in. So we've got the center and then I fold it two and a half inches in and I've ironed it to mark it. And then what we're going to do now is the side where the wadding is, is going to be my right side and the reversible lining is the wrong side. So if you just have a feel, to feel where you've put it. So I've put the interline in that side. So that's going to be my right side, this is going to be my wrong side. So now I'm going to fold it in, one inch is in, to that marking I just did. There's one inch. You can take a tape measure and measure it. I'll just do this because this is a sample. 
because I can see the ironing mark. So, and then I'm going to take this other side one inch in. And I'll mark it. And those, these ironing mark that I'm doing is a guideline to where I'm going to stitch. So, Can you see that? So I'm going to use, I'm going to stitch this in now and then I'm going to come back and show you. So now I've folded the fabric to show you what should look like. They're both folded like to the middle. And I've got a, a tailor's chalk in this showing me where to start and finish. And I'm just doing a half an inch seam. Same with the other side. And then I've done the other side. <laughs> you just repeat the other side. And then you turn it around, turn them in like that, so you can see it's enough to go around a man's neck. And I've got some guidelines, some stitch lines. So what I'll do now is I'm going to top stitch it down a nice straight line to hold these into place. So I've already put markings there in Taylor's chalk so I know where I'm going. simple that's that's the front and that's the inside so I'm tidy all this up and that's it that's the provet it's finished all I have to do now is iron it it's fantastic isn't it okay all right as you can see my ascot is now finished and ready to go around a man's neck. That's the inside and that's the outside. 